Women today are entitled leeches. Y'all, I don't think that a lot of women really understand just how lucky they are to have a man in 2024 to take them out on any date. Last time that I checked, over 80% of men between the ages of 18 and 29 we're done with dating. And the ages are only progressing. The numbers are only progressing. And it's all due to the fact that a lot of women today are entitled and selfish. They're users, leeches, bums. So... I find it very, very disrespectful that you all are complaining about a man wanting to take you out on a date to genuinely get to know you. And y'all are classifying that as low effort. Because instead of spending all of his money on a stranger that he does not know, but is trying to get to know. He's, I don't know, low budget, a bum. What? Let's get right into this, y'all. We got to break this down bit by bit. When I came across this clip, I was blown away. In 2024, ladies, y'all should be lucky that a man approaches you, let alone takes you out on a date at all. It is a privilege. A lot of men today, ladies, they don't even see the value in doing anything for women. A lot of y'all have screwed that up, even for the good quality women out there. And I really feel bad for y'all. But this is the, the climate that a lot of these entitled selfish leeches calling themselves high value women have created. Y'all have ruined it for every woman, and I'm tired of it. Y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. So you all, a lot of these women now are on rant pages complaining about low effort dates, you know, as far as coffee dates, ice cream dates, drink dates, you know, whatever kind of date that uh, and tells you not spending a huge lump sum of money on a stranger. Yeah, that's low effort and unacceptable. Let's get into it and break it down bit by bit. And again, y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. Let's listen. So hot take, coffee dates, ice cream dates, drink dates, etc., are low effort. Okay. I had this man ask me on a date tonight and he said, oh, let's go for drinks. I would love to take you out. And I told him, respectfully, no, I only do dinner dates. He was like, oh, I don't do dinner dates on the first date. Blocked. I'm not about to play with y'all, okay? These men, we need to, as women, we need to stop letting these men get away with low effort dates and literally doing the bare minimum, okay? Because first of all, why are you trying to get me impaired on the first date? Or why are you trying to get impaired around me on the first date? I'm uncomfortable. Absolutely not. Dinner is great. You can have drinks at dinner. I don't, you know? That's 100% a non-negotiable for me. Wait a minute, because I'm confused. She says that a guy approached her, which is, again, a luxury in 2024, and asked her out on a date. And the date that he wanted to take her out on was that of which consisted of drinks. She says, no, I only do dinner dates. He says, well, unfortunately for me, I don't like to do dinner dates on the first date. Not saying that he does not do dinner dates at all, but on the first date, 
instead of us being distracted by food, right, and chewing, I would like to have something to where we could really, I don't know, have a conversation, carry on a good conversation. And we can't do that with chunks of food in our mouths. So on the first date, let's do something to where that would be something that is feasible and easy to do, right? And then once we have a good feel for one another, then we can progress forward. Sounds reasonable to me, right? But she then wants to counter that and say, oh, no, I don't do that. And then she says she actually blocked that man. Why is it that you want to take me out for drinks on the first date? Why is it that you want to get me impaired? Why is it that you want to be impaired around me? I am, I'm uncomfortable. And she would have had a valid point with that if she didn't say what she said next. She said, take me out on a date with food. Yeah, because I only do dinner dates. You can drink and do whatever you want to do on a dinner date. Ma'am, if somebody being impaired around you or you have a fear of somebody trying to get you impaired around them, that should be off the table altogether. I would have gave her that and said, well, well that's kind of valid, right? But she double talked. And she really contradicted herself by saying that, oh, on this dinner date, we can drink then. Which one is it, ma'am? See, a lot of y'all chicks, y'all expose y'all selves. Y'all get these likes up. A lot of y'all chicks expose y'all selves. The, the truth of the matter is you really don't care about these men. You don't care about him being drunk around you or you being drunk around him. You don't care about, you know, anything. You don't even care to get to know him. It's all about what makes you feel special. It's all about what you want. It's all about stroking your ego. And can I be really real about this whole low effort date complaining nonsense? The real issue is, a lot of these women, they want to be able to show off on social media. And I can't do that on a coffee date. I need to be able to post on to my Instagram, post on to my TikTok, this luxurious restaurant that I went to with this stranger that did not even know me, but saw so much value in me that he was ready and willing to splurge. That's the real scoop. They want to show off. It's all for social media. The men have realized this, which is why they're now trying to weed out the frauds by saying, hey, for the first date, let's do this so that I can see if a woman is really genuinely interested in me or for what I can do for her. What she can get out of me how I can boost her social media ranks, boost her ego. And the way that the men figured out who was a sincere woman or not was by, again, establishing boundaries. I am not going to spend this amount of money on you. I don't know you like that yet. I'm not going to take you here and take you there. I can't get to know you like that. So again, ma'am, what are you talking about? And then what really grinds my gears is that these are the same females that would offer these men nothing in return. So if a man did cash out on her, splurge on her, she wouldn't do anything to reciprocate. So who's really giving low effort? A lot of y'all give no effort. 
You just want to show up with your hand out. So do we really want to have these arguments, ladies, when, again, you all should really be grateful that a man is taking you anywhere? Like the video, show the video, and subscribe. I mean, it's valid. You're a stranger to him. Once we, once we are able to establish some kind of connection, rapport, chemistry, then we can graduate. But for the first date, like, yes. I want to know if we are compatible. I cannot establish that or know that when you're chewing on shrimp, chicken wings, french fries. I, I can't do that. You're not able to really talk to me doing that. It's a valid thing for men to do as far as taking y'all on these first dates. Like, I just don't understand. And that's how I know a lot of y'all are just users. Y'all just leeches looking for somebody to make you look good for the gram. But let's continue. Like the video, y'all. As soon as you're saying that you're not taking me to dinner, I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not trying to convince you. Is that you're blocked. Goodbye. The only time I would slightly understand drinks, you know, like a coffee date, salad date, ice cream date, et cetera, is if he's like a millionaire, billionaire, okay, trillionaire. Like, unless you're up there, but the men that are doing this are regular men anyways. You get what I'm saying? It's regular men who don't want to spend the money on you. So not only are you a leech, but you are a gold digger and you're a master manipulator. <sighs> this is why the men are done. This is why y'all are lucky that they even approach you, ask you out to do anything. She said, the only way that I would tolerate a man taking me out for drinks or ice cream or coffee or anything of that sort is if he was a millionaire. But for the average guy, no, you have to go for broke. This makes no sense. Ladies, this is so illogical. Wouldn't the multimillionaire, wouldn't he be able to cash out on you more than the average guy? So why would you expect less from him, but not, I'm confused. I just don't understand. And this is why I said she's a master manipulator. The reason why she is ready and willing to accept less from the millionaire is so that she can trick him into believing that, hey, I'm not a gold digger. I'm not after your money. You can trust me. I don't mind doing this for you because in the end, I'm going to be able to really milk you dry. So, yeah. I'll accept the bottom of the barrel from you because, you know, you may be worth it after all. But if you're a broke dusty, yeah, go for broke for me. That makes no sense. It makes no sense. She exposed herself. You're a gold digger, man. You're a leech, ma'am. And there's so many other women out there that are just like this. So it's acceptable for a man with a whole bunch of money to do this. But a man who maybe is an average earner, who again is genuinely trying to get to know you. It's like, no, no, no. I need you to spend multi-millionaire money on me on the first date. But if you're a multi-millionaire, yeah, you can go ahead and just take me out for ice cream. That's cool. Girl, you sound so dumb. Seriously. Like, this makes zero sense. I would give it to her and let her have it if this was the baseline standard across the board. But the mere fact alone that she's ready and willing to make exceptions for certain men already lets me know that she's the gold digger, manipulator type. I don't like this. And ma'am, let me let you in on a little bit of a secret. 
and y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. A lot of those millionaires that would maybe take you out on a date, they wouldn't call you afterwards. They don't care about getting to know you. They would want you to go out for ice cream, to lick on the ice cream cone, and then afterwards take you home to lick on the ice cream cone. And you know what's really tragic? Is the fact that a lot of you all would do that. You don't mind selling yourselves to the highest bidder for pennies on the dollar. But when it comes to a man that is genuinely trying to get to know you, oh no, you can't have my goodies. Oh no, I refuse to settle for anything less than the absolute top tier best. That's crazy to me. Y'all sound dumb. Again, I would be okay if she said all across the board, no drinking. So if we're on our dinner date, no drinking. If you're going to take me out, no drink, I would be fine with that. I would also be fine if she said all across the board, I don't care about, you know, your status, your financial ranking. You have got to take me out here. But the mere fact alone that she's saying what she's saying already lets me know that she is the manipulator, gold digger, leeching female. Yes, she is. And there's so many others like her. And I am so tired of y'all because y'all give women a really bad reputation. Let's continue. That just pissed me off. Y'all like the video. <laughs> right. They want to feel like you have to convince them on that first date why they should take you out to a dinner, spend $200. I'm sorry to keep pausing it, y'all, but it's the hypocrisy for me. The mere fact that she wants for these men to take her out on these, you know, expensive dates and everything is so that they can prove to her that he's valuable. Right? Let's make this make sense. The women like her want these men to splurge on them on the first date so that they can gauge, hmm, is he worthy or is he not? But a man cannot say, hmm, let me dial it back. Let me take her here and do this so that I can gauge to see if she's worthy, to see if she's valuable or not. So we can do that, but they can't? Come on, you all. We have got to be realistic and we have got to be fair. If it's unacceptable for them to do it, then it has to be unacceptable for y'all to do it. Come on, ladies. Come on, ladies. And what makes it so much more tragic is the fact that the men are approaching us being reasonable it's reasonable for a man to ask hey can we go here so that we can actually talk can i get to know you first before i start doing too much because y'all would be the same women saying the same thing oh, i don't know you like that can I get to know you before you try to get in my pants? Can I get to know you before, you know, you try to make the first move? Can I get to know you before kissing on me? Can I get to know you before you want to hold my hand? Y'all do it. So what is the matter with a man saying, hey, can I get to know you before I go for broke? Can I get to know you before I start overextending myself? That is reasonable. That is a reasonable ask. But again, a lot of y'all are not genuine women. You're just looking for a sucker that you can lick and not like that. Because if he asked for a lick like that, you would be in your feelings. You would be upset about it. Oh, I don't know you. How dare you ask me to lick you like a lollipop? I don't even know you. But you can hit him up for all of his money and he doesn't know you? Please stop. 
Y'all are complaining about low effort when y'all put in no effort. And that's trash. Y'all like the video. I'm telling y'all, we got to teach. Spread the message. This has to be widespread so that women can stop this nonsense. This is hypocritical. Let's continue. Baby, if I take myself out to turn it all our dates by myself and I treat myself all the time, why would you think you're going to come in and take me to no rangy nanky ass, like cheap ass type of drink date? He's not your husband. He's not even your boyfriend. So yes, we're going to do this the entry level way. No. And I get it. I feel like as women, a lot of us think of short commitment dates such as drinks, um, coffee, etc. as, you know, a way for you to leave if things are uncomfortable or, you know, like a quick exit, right? However, that's not how men view things. They're not coming from a safety standpoint. They're trying to get turned, trying to get you turned and also looking at it financially. Like, I'm not going to spend all that money on this girl. I'm so sorry, y'all. She is pissing me off. She's saying men are not coming at it from a standpoint or a lens of they're trying to, you know, protect themselves. They're just trying to be selfish and greedy. They're just trying to be cheap. That couldn't be anything further from the truth. See, it was a time to where men were going above and beyond. And guess what? They caught on to it. You all were using them for photo ops, using them to feed you, using them for money, and you didn't even like them. So, yes, they are trying to protect themselves now. Yes, they're trying to be cost effective now because I'll be down if I go for broke on a stranger. Y'all are giving bum. Is it just me or is the women out here giving selfish, entitled, leechy bum? Like, girl, seriously? They're absolutely trying to protect themselves from females like you. You're a gold digger. Thinking that dinner is that much of an investment is problematic and toxic. I don't deal with it. And I'm not going to argue about it. Blocked. These men are so complacent doing the bare minimum. And if you allow them, if you allow a man to do the bare minimum once, baby, he going to keep doing it. That's what I've learned. That little effort shit is not flying with me at all. You know what the real issue is? The real issue is a lot of the chicks like her, they let it ride as far as a man giving them low effort and everything of that sort, as it pertains to men who don't even like them, that have no genuine interest in them, right? He just wants to hit and quit. And so since she has entertained that type of guy over and over again, and he did give her low effort, you know, and ultimately probably just hit and quit her. Now she has it in her mind that, oh no, I'll never do that again. The only reason that I would let a, a man do that to me is if he was a multimillionaire. If he was a millionaire, then yeah, he can do it because then I feel like it would be worth it. But I'm not going to deal with these low budget, low value guys anymore because I've been there and I've done that and they use me up. But again, ladies, you got to pay attention to the type. A lot of y'all like the broke dusties. The men who just want to dog you out. The men that just want to use you up. Y'all like those. And so you can't be mad and start to hold all men accountable. Punish all men for your poor choice in men in the past. I'm sorry he scarred you, ma'am. I'm sorry that he took you on this low budget date or whatever the case may have been and then left you. I'm sorry. But me, I genuinely want to go this route so that I can see if you're the type of woman that I would really see myself building with. Sorry. And again, I think that that is reasonable. 
especially for a man that literally is taking a really good genuine interest in you you know what i mean so i just don't agree with this i feel like this really exposes a lot of women for being greedy money hungry leeching entitled selfish bombs to be honest but hey y'all let me know if you disagree or if you agree i don't know um but i really do feel strongly about this being something that is a detriment you know we should be open to going on quote unquote low effort dates for the first date so that we can generally try to establish something you know how else is a man going to really fill you out to see if you know you all are compatible you all are able to really connect but again ladies i don't feel like y'all really care about that to begin with it's all about you know stroking your ego making you look good you know making you feel good what's best for you you don't care about these men and y'all are mad that they caught on to the fact that you don't care about them and it's all about what they're going to spend and what they're going to do for you it's over ladies you blew it so moving forward no more expensive dates out the gate moving forward we're gonna go on these type of dates so that we can really see what woman is genuine what woman we really can see ourselves building with and the only way i can really see that is by us having no distractions or very little distractions you crunching on a crab leg or a hot wing a chicken wing a salad whatever that can be a little bit you know distracting to say the least that can get in the way of us really being able to converse so maybe on the next date when we can establish a little bit more between each other then we can do that but the first date i don't feel like this is asking for too much as a matter of fact i feel like y'all are asking for way too much especially since you wouldn't be ready and willing to give that man anything in return for him going for broke for you so again low effort or no effort anyway y'all let me know y'all thoughts opinions and feedback about this down below i look forward to seeing what y'all gotta say fellas are y'all still going out on dates um y'all let me know because me personally i feel like she was lucky that he even asked her out at all you know are y'all still approaching women y'all let me know i know a lot of y'all still are but women like her just make it extremely difficult for you men to have faith in us women but let's make no doubt about it there are still great quality women out there it's just unfortunate that you have to weed through a lot of hers to get to you know those quality women all right but i love y'all i respect y'all i look forward to seeing what you gotta say but i had to hop on here and really break this down to let these women know just how ridiculous they sound just how entitled and selfish and leechy they sound so that they can stop doing this this is the wrong standard this is the wrong idea to be out here trying to uh inflict upon the men and young women coming up behind us we do not need men out here believing that all of us are like this all of us are not gold diggers all of us are not users all of us are not master manipulators okay i promise but i understand how this can make us all look bad I love y'all. I'll see y'all later. Much love and peace to my crown heads. And remember, ladies, this is not it. Peace.